In Professor Balthazar's town lived William the Weaver. He had one hobby, sewing dresses for dolls. That delighted him more than anything else. However, he soon used up all his fabric and didn't have any money to buy more. William was a very poor man. That spring, as always, a beauty contest was held in the town. Festivities were planned for all the participants and the winner was to receive a gold cup. The citizens demonstrated their enthusiasm. Alphonse, the electrician, collected a heap of wires and light bulbs. Sebastian, the baker, prepared the biggest cake in the world. And Pepe, the fireworks expert, readied the explosives. He refused to allow minor troubles to disturb his preparations. <laughs> William the Weaver suddenly got new business. Madam Chairman of the festival jury came and ordered a formal dress for the festival. <laughs> William looked at the material and couldn't bear it. In a fever of elation, he cut up the entire fabric. And so, because of his hobby, William didn't get any more business. And this was the reason why the chairman of the jury came to the opening of the festival in her everyday clothes. The other ladies were completely bewildered. They decided this must be the latest fashion and hurried off so that they too could be fashionable. The professor was thinking about how he could contribute to the festival. He thought and thought and thought and then came up with an idea. In the meantime, the festival had begun. Sebastian the baker presented his enormous cake, which thrilled the jury. Alphonse the electrician also had nothing to be ashamed of. and the fireworks expert Pepe had prepared a most exciting show. Actually, there was a bit too much smoke, but everyone was very pleased. And then came Professor Balthazar. he had created a strange machine. When he turned it on, a rainbow appeared over the city. It was the most beautiful thing at the festival. 
Professor Balthazar was declared the winner of the cup. But all of a sudden it started to rain. The artificial rainbow wasn't up to this. It melted in the rain like sugar. Heavy rain and spots of color. It was too much. Professor Balthazar had failed. He was ashamed that in planning the rainbow he hadn't foreseen the possibility of rain. William the Weaver tried to comfort him. He invited the professor to have a look at his dolls. But then he remembered his misfortune. And then... The professor discovered a solution. The machine now produced something quite different. After a final check, the professor presented it to William. <laughs> William became the happiest weaver in the world. He now had as much fabric as he wanted. He immediately began to accept work. And to avoid losing time, he hired a helper. Soon word got round and more and more people decided to take their dolls to William. For Professor Balthazar's birthday, William brought him a gift. <laughs> Professor Balthazar and William were happy and thankful for the good fortune that had come to them and to Professor Balthazar's town. Bal, Balthazar, Bal, Balthazar. Balthazar.